Okay, so here we go. So question one. Am I in the... the yeah, now you're in the shot. When the polynomial f of x is divided by x squared plus 1, the quotient is x squared plus 5 plus 2, and the remainder is x minus 1. Find f of x, simplify the answer. Well, actually, this, I think, probably threw a few students when this came out, because this is a little bit different to what we normally expect. And you read it, and you think, right, we're going to have to do some big long division thing, because the, the word divided is in there. But actually, think about what happens when you do... When you do division, try and think what this is meaning. If we do something like the number 28 divided by 3, then what we get from that is we get a quotient and remainder. If we get a quotient, we get a whole amount that would be 9. And we get a remainder of 1. So that's one third that we've got as a remainder. So it would be written like that. Now if we think of that in terms of numbers, let's interpret what the question says with that. It says if you divide f of x by x squared plus 1, you get the quotient and you get a remainder that looks like that. So the key to this question is actually working out what you've been told in the question to start with. And we are asked to find f of x. So what do you think we might do with this expression that we've got here <coughs> to get f of x? Oh, it's going to be quiet. Yeah, go on. Multiply by x squared. Multiply by x squared. That's fine, exactly. We want to get f of x on its own. So if we multiply by x squared plus 1, So it would look like that. I'm just going to multiply every term by it. And now we just need to multiply this out and tidy it up. And we should be able to do this. This is x squared times everything in the bracket. Plus 1 times everything in that bracket. And we also had an x minus 1 at the end. And if we collect together like terms, we've got x to 4, 4x cubed. 2 plus another 1 is 3, x squared, 5x, and plus 1. And, and there we go, for 3 marks, that's a really nice start to the paper, isn't it? But you see how you've got to be a little bit alert, because that's, you know, you assume algebra is going to be either cancelling things down or doing long division. And that was neither, but it's, it's expecting you to have this understanding for what, what the words mean and how fractions work and how everything fits together. And yeah, Dave, you're going to be alert to the end of the question because you've got to stop the video recording as well. You can do the, the, you do that and that's maths. I do. Do you want me to do that? Is that a kind that's, of... So you have to do that every video. Right. And that's maths. <laughs>